cuties welcome to our online class today hope everybody are fine and good i hope you all enjoyed last class can you remember the last topic that we studied yes correct we learnt about robot expo can you recall what we studied friends hi you look excited anything special anita yes I went to the robot expo yesterday. I was so excited seeing all the robots. Friends, tell us more. Anita, a humanoid welcomed me to the hall. Friends, what is that? Anita, a robot that looks like a human. It even knew my name. I was so surprised and shocked that I stood there frozen. friends wow anita i am just getting started a robot just look at me and name the things i had with me friends amazing it must have scanned you with its eyes the next robot danced for the songs played by the visitors i suddenly found a butterfly sitting on my shoulder to my surprise It was a robot there was a robot of ants and fish too an ant robot wow i saw a robot cooking dishes and serving all it served me an omelet don't we all wish for a cook robot at home anita heading to my excitement a robot collected and dropped a empty water bottle into the dustbin Then it advised all of us to use dustbin. Then there was a robot that asked me, "Do you want to make a robot?" I eagerly nodded my head and said, "Yes, but I don't know how to make it." It replied, "Don't worry, I will help you." Then it said, "Let us make a robot that can run. There are three main parts in the robot. First in the controller." it hacks as the brain second is the mechanical parts that will help the robot move third is the sensors that will help the robot senses wall and other things on it way so that it does not crash into these object all these parts work together to make the robot run then i put these three parts together with a robot I and made a robot myself this is expo has made me really interested in robots i'm planning to make more robots will you all join me friends we would love to let us move on to the next topic today we are going to learn a different types of robots there are three main parts in the robots first is the controller it act as the brain second is the mechanical part it is help the robot to move third is the sensor that will help the robot to sense the walls and other things all three parts work together to help the robot move we will learn about the different types of robots we learnt in Anita stories they are ant butterfly and humanoid robots i repeat we will learn about the different types of robots we learnt in anita stories they are ant butterfly and humanoid robots ant robot simple in structure they can jump and crawl it can communicate with each other i repeat an ant robot are simple in structure they can jump and crawl it can communicate with each other butterfly robot are simple in structure they can fly it look like real butterfly i repeat butterfly robot are simple in structure they can fly it look like real butterfly humanoid robots are robots which look like humans they have hands and legs sometimes they are even made to resemble a particular person by creating same features 
these robots can communicate and do few activities like human like how one of the robot cooked an omelet and the other helped to keeping the place tidy the robots are used in scientific studies i repeat humanoid robots or robots which look like humans they have hands and legs sometimes they are even made to resemble a particular person by creating same features these robots can communicate and do few activities like human like how one of the robots cooked an omelet and they other helped in keeping the place tidy these robots are used in scientific studies we teach you important words and meaning from this lesson controller sensor controller director sensor a device used to measure controller director sensor a device used to measure humanoid resembling like a human i repeat humanoid resembling like a human surprise something unexpected surprise something unexpected a world is developing technologically and there are more types of robot with the different uses which will be created in the future we should always use the technology for good purpose thank you children